providers have to understand one thing. The insurance companies know that sometimes it's very hard to collect patient responsibility. They're clear on that. However, they do want to see that you are putting forth the effort in order to collect patient responsibility. If that means submitting uh, statements three times, and after the third time, if there has been no response, by law, you can write those, that balance off. But you have to show some sort of paper trail. That's where the insurance companies are now you know, getting the providers and saying that you are not you're not collecting patient responsibility for the simple fact when they ask for documentation, there's no trail of it. As far as the drug testing is concerned, once again, insurance companies are aware that because of the population that you are treating, it is important to do random drug testing. But when you're testing in excess of three to four, five times a week, and there's no valid reason as to why you're testing, it, it's open for a question. And another thing also is when you're continuously doing the same amount every single week and you're not lowering that, you're not showing that you're scaling it down, then obviously they're saying, well, what is the need if every test that comes back is showing negative, why do you consistently test three to four times a week. So documentation from the provider, the, the medical doctor, to state, okay, well, based on the client's history and their usage, this is the reason why we are testing consistently or we're gonna taper down after a certain amount of time because we're monitoring this client. So it's policing yourself from within that's important because that's how the insurance companies are gonna start cracking down and eliminating um, you know, certain unethical providers.